The medieval era lasted from approximately 500 AD to 1500 AD, and it is perhaps one of the most tumultuous, dangerous, and fascinating times in history. And it is one that viewers cannot seem to get enough of on the big screen, as the medieval era has been a regular historic backdrop for a plethora of films since the start of cinema. This list will give my top 10 recommendations of films based during the medieval times so you can spend less time looking for a film to watch and more time actually enjoying one. And at number 10 it is Ironclad, a historical film based around the siege of Rochester Castle by King John, the same King John that can be found in Disney's Robin Hood movies. This is a film which is based around the true events regarding the siege of Rochester Castle in which a small group of rebels and noblemen during the first Barons War tried to hold Rochester Castle against King John and his forces, after he has revoked on the promises he agreed to during the signing of the Magna Carta. This film follows a generic B-grade formula in which a romance is rushed and just added in because every story needs a celibate Templar to fall in love with the noblewoman, and character development is usually just done by two characters communicating through a few lines of dialogue every now and then, so it is not really a priority in this film. But what the film does get right is its battle scenes and siege tactics, which shows how difficult it is for a small force to protect a fortress from invaders. The general plot and storyline is interesting enough that the viewer will feel compelled to watch the movie to the very end. This is not the best medieval film ever created but it is a great recommendation for someone looking for an easy to watch and a story with a simplified plot. At number 9, it is Black Death, a film that does a good job of mixing two different genres, horror and history together. And with the focus being on the breakout of the bubonic plague, it is a historical topic which can indeed be utilized effectively in a horror and supernatural genre. Black Death does a fascinating job of displaying how the superstitions and customs in medieval England during this time would have caused mass paranoia as the disease continued to spread across the land. This film has interesting but not very original plot and Sean Bean and Eddie Redmayne do a great job of carrying the film, which needed their strong acting to cover the various plot holes and the various missteps throughout the film. The Black Death is a great film to watch on a free evening as it does a fantastic job of blending horror and supernatural elements within an interesting historical context. And even though it may not be a revolutionary or original film, it is still a highly enjoyable medieval movie to watch. At number 8 we have the Netflix original film The King, which focuses on the life of King Henry V who was a king of England during the early 1400s and he is widely renowned throughout history for his small contingency of English archers and knights and their victory over a much larger and better equipped French army. This film follows the life of Henry Montmuth from shortly before he becomes king to a few weeks after his victory in France on the fields of Agincourt and it does a great job of bringing this king's unique story to life. Like most productions by Netflix, this is a high budget, high quality film with fantastic acting by the entire cast, most notable being the quirky performance by Robert Pattinson which you will either love or hate. My primary gripe with this film though is the level of historical inaccuracies throughout the entire movie which is used to make Henry look like a reluctant peace loving king who hated the idea of war when the reality is so different and Henry was a king who loved war from his first day on the throne. But if you can ignore some of the historical shortcomings of the film then you'll find a movie that has great acting, an interesting storyline and some fantastic large scale battles as well which really does bring the bloody reality of medieval warfare to life. At number 7, it is Saladin the Victorious, a classic historical Egyptian war film from 1963, which focuses on the legendary Muslim general and conqueror Saladin. This film focuses on the Third Crusade in which Saladin has already conquered Jerusalem and the Christian armies are joining together to reclaim the Holy Land. I will start off by saying that this is a hugely biased film and is really a one-sided film which does its best to make the Muslims look like the good guys and the Europeans seem like the evil villains in the movie and it is what a main factor which really keeps this movie from rating higher on this list because the acting, storyline and battle scenes are really great in this film. It's just far too patriotic in a lot of areas though which does hinder its rating in this list. But if we disregard the bias and historical inaccuracies, Saladin is a movie which is a tribute to what most would call the golden age of cinema in which strong acting and storylines were the forces which carried a film and if someone has three hours to spare on an evening then Saladin is definitely a historical adventure for you to consider. At number six it is The Physician, a historical drama film based on the novel of the same name by Noah Gordon. This film's central plot focuses on an orphaned boy named Rob and his determination to study medicine 
and prevent others from dying of easily treatable diseases in 10th century England, and this search for medical answers eventually leads him to Persia. This movie is unique as it brings to life a topic very rarely discussed in movies or TV shows, and that is the way medical treatments and surgeries were performed during the medieval times. We often get a small scene of a soldier getting a limb amputated or some rudimentary medical practices being performed on a king or nobleman, but I have never seen a movie delve so deep into the subject as the physician. The differences between English and Persian society during this time as one was a very superstitious culture with poor medical knowledge while the other society was enjoying an age of great learning and advancement. So if you're looking for a movie that is well acted, perfectly paced and brings a unique spin to historical dramas then The Physician is my recommendation for you. So lastly I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it please do like, share and leave a comment down below and if you haven't please do subscribe to this channel as I post videos about historical movies and TV shows on a regular basis. Thank you so much for watching.